Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about adding RSS feeds to Content Buddy. When you land on the main overview page, you'll notice that there's this RSS Groups tab right here. If you click on this tab, I'll show you how this works. You'll see that you have a couple of different options. You have, you have the name of the feed, then you have the feed URL where you type it in, and then you'd want to add the feed and then hit save. So you can see I've already added a couple down here, easing articles, parenting, easing articles. Um, so let me just kind of show you, we'll, we'll create one, and you can add, you'd, you'd be shocked at the number of sites that offer RSS feeds, or a large number of, number of them do, and, and you can get an RSS feed from any source, it could be your affiliate, uh, an affiliate company that provides you an RSS feed that's in, already embedded with your affiliate links. It could be a news source. It could be any number of. Uh, it could be YouTube that offer it. So if I go over here to Easing Articles, which is where we are now, and we look here, and the ex the uh, the example I think I'd used before uh, was Arts Entertainment. So I'll just use a different one. This time I'll go for business, and we'll say um, we'll say advertising. And you see we have this little RSS reader icon right here. Some people will have them in their browser at the top. Uh, some You'll see them on the page itself. But if we click on this, this is actually the RSS feed for this particular category. So I can just go up to my URL and copy the URL and come back over here to Content Buddy and paste in that's the URL for the feed that we were just looking at. This feed right here is at this URL right here. So I could always put, you know, easing advertising. Well, I'll just say, um, I think I already have it. Let's say, we'll say ads group because we might want to actually use it as a campaign later and be able to pull articles beyond just, um, beyond just advertising specific. So you can kind of name this because you'll use that later on the campaigns tab and I'll show you that in a second. So once we've entered in what we're going to name it and if it's a generic source like this you might want to use a generic name then you can say add new feed and it's been added and that's it so we then would just hit save and if you look it'll end up see now we have it. We have this ads group. So now we could go over to the campaign section and we could come back to uh, arts and entertainment if we wanted to, but we could just, let's just create a new campaign. And maybe this campaign we're going to say this is an ads related campaign. Right? Ads and um, banners. I don't know. Something. And so we could put in here whatever we want to put. Uh, uh, banner ads and then we may want to uncheck some of these that we want to include or not include but what we'd want to make sure we do is that we activate RSS and that we include that ads group URL see that now that's going to automatically include that you are the the RSS feed that we pulled from easing articles. It's going to automatically pull that and include it as a source. Now you can check, uncheck what you want to include in this section here. Now another thing here we'll talk about, and we could obviously save this and that would be a campaign. Now the other thing is this YouTube videos. Now, and Vimeo videos. So a lot of people, what you don't know is on YouTube you can pull an RSS feed much like we did for um, for the easy article, so uh, actually this is kind of funny. So let's look. We'll just we'll, I'll just pull up a video here, and then uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, uh, that's pretty short here. A little rocky trailer here. So if we look at this video, uh, we can actually let's go look at this particular one was uploaded by this individual. So this could be any. It could be the Google AdWords. Uh, channel it could be anybody who has a channel that they've set up and then what we can do is we can just pull the RSS feed for that we click on the RSS feed and it's the same thing we get the exact same feed for this specific source so we could come back over here to content buddy we could add RSS groups once again we could just say YouTube and then paste the URL in there, much like before. Add the feed. 
hit save and then instantly that will be another source that we could pull on campaigns let me just go inside this campaign again we could turn it on right and so we would be able oh, I'm sorry we would turn it on and we could pull we we could go with the YouTube feed that we set up so now we could target specific YouTube publishers for their specific videos so it's a very powerful way that you can come in here and add content to your blog from this section over here you'd be able to pick the various different campaigns right and then it would pull the search for you so you wouldn't have to set it up over and over and over again so I hope you see how easy it is to set up content buddy RSS feeds and how those RSS feeds can be used to help populate content into your posts. It's very powerful. So I hope that helps. Thanks a lot.